Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews, everyone. I wanted to report on this the other day, but I had been extremely busy with my niece and nephew. And when you're taking care of little kids, well, you know how tough that can be. But yes, this uh, report is like four days old. Dolph Lundgren speaks on Alec Baldwin's rust shooting. It's a serious business having real firearms on a film set. So, actor star Dolph Lundgren, known for such roles as Ivan Drago, in Rocky IV and King Nereus in Aquaman, or Aquaman, sorry, recently weighed in on the Alec Baldwin shooting, asserting that firearms on movie sets are a serious business. It's a serious business we have are having real firearms on a film set, London told Fox News, adding, usually an armorer, they're very serious people, and they're very committed, and gun- the guns are checked. Well, considering that there wasn't any problems like that on any of the expendable sets, mainly because of how the gun safety protocols were enacted and whatnot, yeah. Any other time I remember it happened was with Brandon Lee. He then recalled referencing the single or the similar onset shooting of Brandon Lee during the filming of The Crow, wherein the son of renowned martial artist Bruce Lee was killed by an improperly crafted dummy round fired from a prop gun by his film co-star Michael Massey. It's crazy, Lundgren said. A Baldwin or set of Baldwin's fatal weapon discharge which injured director Joel Souza and killed direct or killed director of photography Helena Hutchins. He continued, I don't know how that happened. There should never have been any live ammo in around a movie set before explaining what he used or what he used to do when manipulating firearms on the set of many action films he starred in. I used to do a couple dry fires into the ground before I use it. The expendable star explained, there is a protocol that is pretty strict and I'm sure safety is on sets is going to be even more strict now. Lundgren also revealed that he has opted to use special effects instead of blanks for all gun related scenes in Castle Falls an upgrade or an upcoming action film directed by Hollywood's veteran or directed by the Hollywood veteran in which he stars alongside martial arts actor Scott Atkins. Yeah, bring him Scotty Ben or Scotty in. That's nice. You could do CGI flashes and you can also animate the shells coming out of the weapon, said Lundgren. All the multi Multi flashes and all the shells kicked out of the guns. That's done, or that can be done on a computer. Or that's done on a computer, he says. He added, but some movies, I think the one Alec Baldwin was in, or was in, was a period piece. So they used revolvers or something like that. That's probably why they opted for using blanks. In the wake of the tragic event that took place, Alec Baldwin would address the thing, yada, yada, yada. Meanwhile, maybe Mitchell is suing her, or suing him. Yeah. And it just goes on more about that. But anyway, what do you guys think of uh, Dolph Lundgren's words? I mean, he's been in so many freaking movies. He was the Punisher, for crying out loud. So the, or so he knows the weapons protocol. He was in the Expendables movie, so he knows the weapons protocol there. He knows how to do all that stuff. Also, he's a very serious actor. He's a martial artist, so he's definitely got the discipline down. So, yeah. Dolph Lundgren, I would actually think he is a lot more qualified to speak on this when it comes to movie sets and whatnot, where Alec Baldwin, in his own words during that interview that I reported on yesterday... Uh, I heard that he actually feels no guilt. He said that. He feels no guilt. Someone else was responsible. Either this man's denial is so strong, or this man is a stone-cold psychopathic killer, and I think he definitely needs to be held in prison for criminal negligence and negligent manslaughter. Anyway, folks... That's going to be the video. You all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share. All that jazz. 
Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you think of this situation? What do you think of Dolph Lundgren's weighing in? What do you think of Alec Baldwin saying he had or he's not guilty of anything? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below, folks. This has been Orange Hat Reviews. Stay humble.